Uh, Hellraiser uh, uh, follows uh, Riley, who um, is a young woman struggling with addiction, who finds a mysterious and ancient puzzle box that should you solve it, opens doors you may not want to open. And uh, soon she's on a quest of sorts to uh, retrieve someone that she loves, and she'll have to come in contact with um, the sadistic but beautiful Cenobites and contend with all their desires. Uh, why was I interested in directing a new version of Hellraiser? I Look, I'm such a fan of the franchise. I think anybody who loves the Hellraiser movies and Hellraiser literature could say that this is a, a big, uh, vast world to play in. Um, there's so much that you can do with Hellraiser. So um, anything that keeps the conversation going, um, anything that um, opens the box and takes us back into the labyrinth, I think, is as a fan, a journey that I, I, I want to go on as a filmmaker. It's, it's a really, really unique challenge. Hellraiser is dense, it's complex, it's layered, explores many themes of the interior and the exterior. It's absolutely terrifying and visceral, um, but it's also surreal. And um, uh, so, it, 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 look, as a, as, a, as a crafts person of film, it's uh, absolutely a, a joy to work on and, and an honor to be a part of. So um, I'm, I'm just happy that I had the opportunity to do it. Uh, Clive, Clive was a creative producer on the film, so uh, he was involved in um, all manner of process and in the development and the realization of this and um, in the edit post-production. And uh, he was very generous with his time and, you know, being the inventor, um, uh, the writer of Hellbound Heart, the director of the first film, the producer of several Hellraiser films. Um, uh, he knows the world like no one else. It's uniquely his vision. And yet he was very supportive of the idea that this was a new group of artists and that they were going to respond to the material in their own way and that that it was ripe for some level of reinvention. We wanted to capture the spirit of the original movies, but also, um, you know, be open um, to new ideas where they presented themselves. And so he fully embraced that. Um, as an artist, he's uh, very collaborative and uh uh, and wants to um, find common ground, shared obsessions, as he says. You know, he would call me a lot <laughs> in prep, and we would um, talk through passages of the old book. We would uh, talk about elements of the script that worked, areas that could use more fleshing out. He always um, met me um, uh, with this story. His advice was always to tell the story that was before us and um, not to try to emulate what he had done before. And um, as a producer, he can he can be challenging at times and he knows when to push us. And so I'm, I'm really grateful um, of uh, the time and collaboration that you know I, I got to spend with him. And uh, he's a joy to work with. And every conversation with him is a marvel. My biggest challenges in making this film, um, on one hand, you know, we had to find um, you know, how to, you know pay the proper homage to the movies uh, that had come before us and uh, but also open this up for new audiences. Um, a, a lot of that meant getting lost in our own obsessions that were Hellraiser related and following all the things that we thought were amazing about Hellraiser. I'll also say Hellraiser is quite a logistical feat um, in horror filmmaking. You know, I, I joke, it, it could have been a person in a mask with a knife, but it's not. They're interdimensional BDSM demons that come at you from an endless labyrinth and shoot chains at you. I mean, it's um, the, the gags are insanely complicated and um, uh, require a lot of planning. And, uh, and Hellraiser has always been known for its practical effects. So you got to do it for real. And that's very much the spirit of the franchise. So I, I think I speak for, you know, all, all, all of the crafts people in the film that it's a um, uh, uh, it's just a challenge to take on. And, um, and then I think for the actors, it's an enormous leap of faith, you know, and I think it's uh, you're always out on a limb when you're doing horror because you're dealing with very, very intense ideas. Um, you're dealing with a lot of imagination. Um, sometimes it can seem quite absurd when you're on set, what you're working with. Um, but uh, for, for the performances to, uh, to, to, to run with what we were doing and to do it, um, you know, with sheer abandon is, is what the movie needed. And it's a big testament to Jamie's performance, you know, as the priest, 
Um, it takes a lot of courage to put on that suit and to lead the other Cenobites and to do it with confidence and grace. And I think um, um, uh, she was an example to all of us on set. And uh, when the when the priest comes on set, you can hear a hush fall over the crew. You know, it's like um, her, her her Majesty is present, and you uh, better offer her you know, the right, the proper respect or, um, things could go horribly wrong. So, uh, yeah, Hellraiser, Hellraiser is challenging, but it's, um, uh, it's incredibly rewarding, uh, franchise. I can't think of anything else like it.